Well, we are continuing to ask the sheriff of Harris County and their office for answers in the shooting death of 12 year old Carlos Fernandez, 12 years old and gunned down. Liliana Pearson is live right now outside the Cloverleaf apartment where there is a memorial growing. Now, Liliana, you talked to the sheriff's office and they say they're just not releasing any information right now. That's right. I spoke to them over the phone today because we do have a number of unanswered questions. They told me that right now investigators are asking them to hold information back as they continue their work. Today we did speak to community members and people who say they knew 12 year old Carlos Fernandez. They say it's a frustrating update. It's an outcome neighbors say they never wished for, but they did see coming. I was saying that something would happen if they don't calm this down. Neighbor Jim Sims says the unit next door often had law enforcement called out for domestic violence. He never imagined it would lead to the death of 12 year old Carlos Fernandez while he slept in his bed. That's tragic, you know what I'm saying? But that's, mm, that's you, that, you know, it's brewed up to that. What we do know? Harris County Sheriff's Office says this seems to be a targeted attack. A person walking up to the window and letting loose a spray of bullets. Law enforcement is looking for a vehicle and we did get surveillance video of this truck speeding away at the time the crime happened, though we don't know if it's connected. If they shot and killed a 12 year old, uh, you know, who knows what else they're capable of doing. What we don't know is everything else. No suspect name has been released, no motive given, and calls for service to the apartment are being held back. One community member who didn't go on camera telling me she doesn't feel safe speaking out, not knowing who or where the suspect is. Carlos was a student at Dr. Gerald D. Cobb. The school sent out a letter to parents yesterday telling them one of their own wouldn't be in class anymore and offering resources to students and staff. I'm Liliana Pearson, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.